Ciao a tutti e benvenuti all'Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. Hello everybody, welcome to Monza for race five of the FIA World Endurance Championship. It's funny, after Le Mans, it feels like a lot of pressure has gone. A lot of anticipation that obviously builds up before that 24 hour race. And with that gone, done and dusted, now they can focus on the rest of this championship and really get stuck in. And for teams like Toyota that felt a little bit hard done by at Le Mans, this is revenge time. Racing in Monza and, and the two Toyotas trying to run nose to tail to shut the door on the Ferrari. It looks like the second place Toyota, Sebastian Bremi, losing out there. Around the outside comes the Peugeot and the Ferrari's just facing backwards. 51. That's the 51 car, 99 goes straight through the chicane. Ferrari 51 will go straight through as well. Just what they didn't need. So it is the Toyota Mike Conway that leads from the Ferrari of Miguel Molina and the Peugeot of Mikkel Jensen up to third place Alex Lynn fourth the blue nosed Cadillac then the second Peugeot that's Nico Muller trying to sneak down the inside and a big lock up on the dirt there from the Glickenhaus but ah did Buemi get hit from behind from the Cadillac I didn't I see that I think you're the one I'd thing like I'd to see an onboard of the Cadillac oh, almost collects like the Corvette as it goes straight on as well here's another view no, it no. was. He, he, Buemi had locked the inside front and actually made contact with the Peugeot and the Ferrari. And this is the onboard of Buemi. He's breaking, he's breaking, he's got a throw in this. Oh, and he's just... That lock-up came just at the wrong time. Left-hand dive plane, I think, is missing from that uh, Toyota. That was oh! better well on the inside. He's and keeping it clean, that but was. that was a lunge from Hanley and right look at the other the the United car. United car is going to go by both of them. Round the eyes of the Lesmo 2. Got to be careful on track limits. He makes up a place. That's uh, Gator, Gator van der Gaard. Van der Gaard starting strong, as is his want, and keeps his nose in front of Hanley. Oh, the station seven. So that is Satoshi Hoshino, and is that at the Roger, or is that at... He's hit the barriers on the right. This will be a safety car. Too much debris, too much danger. Let's take a look here. Oh, oh. contact from... That was the Toyota. That was, was the Toyota. Was that the race leader? Or no, the I think it was the eight car. car. I think it was contact from the eight. On board with the Jota. Now, where does that Toyota go? Yeah. Sorry with how everything is unfolding. I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay, mate. It's only 20 minutes gone. Still a long race to go. On the inside, defends Mike Conway, but around the outside comes the 93 Peugeot. Mounting the attack, Mikhail Jensen. Can he make it stick He's got there? It done. Has he got it done? Clean. Done it. Brilliant on the stuff. Inside. Great stuff. Big round of applause there from the Peugeot garage. Here we go, he's going to have to put the car to the inside once again. The Ferrari's drafting past. I think he up. might have the job done before even the braking zone. He yeah. has. Molina puts the pressure on, really squeezes Mike Conway and... Oh, I think the fans quite like that. <laughs> yes, indeed they, they did. <laughs> One minute, stop and go penalty, car eight for a contact with car triple seven. And this is... Yeah, this is Conway, yeah. still really... Uh, now he's, well, he's fighting the, uh, the leader here of uh, Miguel Molina. So Molina really starting to struggle on these tyres as well. Mm. Oh, and he squeezes oh. Conway oh. off the track there. On the run down towards Ascari, Conway did the right thing to back out of it, but yeah. it was on momentarily. Yeah, he's and probably to... were looking forward instead of in the mirrors to give him yeah. some, uh, you know, a little bit of leeway, uh, I'll uh, say. Christensen is really struggling at the beginning of the season. He's got a puncture. What's, no. what's that? It's just is a that body, just shadow? Just a, yeah, just that. Okay. Don't forget. So they did they decide to stay on those same set of tyres with Michael Christensen on board? And that's the deficit. That's the pace loss. He's just rocketing backwards, isn't he, yeah. at this stage? And that's Gabby Aubrey. Now, was anybody else involved? That is likely to be a safety car. So anybody who's struggling for fuel and tyres... 
He left and the car's width on the inside. Oh no! Oh. The car, the, uh, the the Prema just lost control mid corner, and poor old Gabby Aubrey is out of this race now because of a moment from another car. He did the right thing. He gave space on the inside. There was always a car's width. This is for third place. This is Jeff coming up behind him. Minute stop and go penalty for the nine Prema car for causing a collision with car number 10 Vector, exactly as you suggested, Ant. And this and has been an advantage for Peugeot yeah. the whole race long. They have got phenomenal straight line speed and they're, we, it's the only car I see able to overtake on track without any help of traffic getting in the yeah. way. Watch Rio Hirakawa hit. Three wide hit. And that was going by both of them into Curva Alboreto. That's big stuff from the Japanese driver. So looking this back. Has changed. This is the change for the Arn Dames and the 33. And that was into the Roger. Michelle Gatti. Uh, compromised by the P2 yeah. car. Heavily compromised. Ouch. Yeah. Brilliant run, he's just slipped out there, the slipstream after that fantastic exit from the Ascari chicane. He now gets in the slipstream of the other Porsche in front and gets the job done. That's one of them down in towards the final corner. Here we go, what a fantastic exit there from Veroni around the exit of Lesmo 2. That's where he was strong before. He's strong there again this time and drafts past the Porsche on the run towards yes, with Kasper. a thumbs up by Kasberg. He approves, but no. he's not giving up. Well, no, Ricardo Pera will not give up. Veroni sticks it out there and he goes through. Just having gone by the pits, Harry Tingnell. Now, he's not been long in the car. He can't need fuel. This will need turning off and on again. I think you're exactly right. Oh, and he's going to be reported to the stewards as well for not zigzagging his way through. No, I but I stop. think he's dead yeah. stick. I don't think he's got power. And that makes overtaking very difficult yeah. around this track. If you're faster through the corners but not on the straight, that's why in, in formulas it's not like we have here in, uh, in the hypercar, where you can play with downforce levels. That's going to let him oh, through, though. And a driver error. Oh, Down. just as I was saying, it's hard to overtake the straight line. You've got to do it in the corners. Well, easy when the car goes off. Okay, 30, eight laps to go, eight laps to go. We are under investigation for the full call zero, so try to make as big a gap as possible. Eight laps to go, we don't keep the tires. OK, so fresh yeah. tyres awaiting Ferdy Habsburg at the next stop. Car goes up on the jacks, the right side goes on. They look like used tyres to me. They used do, yeah. set of medium on the left. Thank you. And on the outside. brand new mediums on the left. Instead of doing a splash at the end, you're going with a full the tires full there. stop. There are tyres there. They always have tyres just in case. Ferrari tyres done. Not many. Six, Less than eight. a full stint. Yeah. They need track position here. Oh, here they are going to change tyre. Left sides only. Now then. And they're that's, going mediums. They're going medium tyres. Oh, the Toyota, take a lead. there's the Ferrari, and there's the gap, and it's going to be... And, and mm, OK, the Toyota... Don't forget, Toyota was on cold tyres, so the outlap was quite slow, and that's why Ferrari came in now, because Toyota are running slower while Ferrari were making their stop. If they'd left it longer, the, for, the, the Toyota would have been going quicker while they were stopped. On their newer tyres. It has been a much better day for Peugeot, without a shadow of a doubt. We've had faces in that pit uh, garage that have done nothing much but frown for a year. It's done, I think. Yeah, that's it. All over. Gutted, you can yeah. read the body language from Robin Frines. If there was any question, uh, it's all done. Looking to go to the inside. Is Makawiki going to make the move to the block? No, he doesn't. So Brendan should be able to get this done on the brakes. Yes, he does. Fantastic stuff. The 51 Ferrari, he's got a really good run on Fred Makovicki. He's outside the white line, he's back inside it, down the inside. Big, big effort from Antonio Giovinazzi, who's been blocked behind the Porsche forever. And just gets it done. Car 51 reported to the stewards for overtaking beyond track limits. 
and Kamui Kobayashi, the man who put the number seven Toyota on pole, will take it through to the chequered flag. His teammates run into the wall to celebrate. It has been a tough race for everybody, but the number seven Toyota comes out on top. Victory in Monza, important for that team in the championship. Ferrari takes second and Peugeot will claim their first ever podium. But jubilation for Mike Conway, Jose Maria Lopez, Kamui Kobayashi and the Toyota team. There's Alex Wurtz, driver, manager and the whole team thrilled to have beaten Ferrari here at Monza. No question who the crowd favourite is. 50 car on the podium in second place but a vital win for the number seven Toyota team it's a sea of red and this one will feel good after a, a top Le Mans yeah it was important to to bounce back um, yeah the team did a, a great job um, unfortunately Karate had a, a complicated race but at the end they recovered well so really happy. I mean, Mike, again, a great job in the star and Kamui as always. So I'm very proud of these guys. I'm very proud of the team. And yeah, it, it feels nice, you know, third win on the, of the year. Uh, we've been some, a bit unlucky, but yeah, this, this put us again on the game. So really happy. Great day for the number 28 Jota car. They win in LMP2. Great starting stint from David Heinemeyer Hansen and his teammates. Oliver Rasmussen and Pietro Filipaldi finished the job. GTM, victory going to the 77 Porsche. Christian Reed, last year's winner with new teammates Mikkel Pedersen and Julian Andlauer. But it is a championship win for the 33 Corvette team. Ben Keating, Nicky Katzberg and Nico Veroni. The first race at Sebring in March, their champions in July and they won't get their trophy until Bahrain in November. Victory overall and in hypercar for Toyota, a first podium for Peugeot, a big day for them, and Ferrari savouring the moment with second and the adulation of the Tifosi. Post-race penalties for the 51 Ferrari and the number eight Toyota for exceeding power limits have dropped them a fraction back down the order, so the championship remains very much alive. But with a sea of fans below them, our top three enjoy their moment of celebration. And next time out, Ferrari will want to take their revenge on Toyota on their home turf at Fuji in Japan.